What's going on YouTube? I am God as my source, aka Gems. And you might be thinking to yourself, I probably won't pronounce it G like that in that situation. Well, my response is, I'm a grown man, I do what I want. And we about to get into some more music today. We got more Tone Spain. This song is called Self Deity. All right, so let's get into it. See if this song is, you know, along the same lines, along the same lines of the last song, or he about to switch it all up. Let's go. Okay, this song is on like a whole nother level than that last song. Oh my gosh. Oh my jeez. I, I just I'm just like lost for words right now. I mean he is spitting right now. Alright, so uh first let me say when I was searching for this song, I saw that uh this man is a Hebrew Israelite. So when I saw that, I was kind of wary. Uh, because the last song, you know, I didn't get a whole lot out of it. So I was like, kind of wary going into this song. And it's called Self Deity, you know? Um, so I was kind of, you know, kind of a little like, what's, what, what are we about to be talking about here? Uh, but it looks like um, he's, you know, I'm not hearing any type of things that sound crazy. Um, he's talking about Jesus. Um you know, dying for our sins. So, you know, and with the Hebrew Israelites thing, uh, there are some things that they set, teach that I agree with. And a lot, they, they operate in these camps and a lot of the camps are different from other camps. Um, I'm sure there's like a core belief. Um, I'm not, to be honest, I'm not sure what that core belief is is um i haven't did like a i didn't do like a deep dive into what they believe but there was a period of time where i was really uh listening to a lot of what they a lot of their videos because i had met a hebrew israelite and he was telling me you know all these things and that i've been i've been interpreting the scriptures wrong and stuff like that you know so i started doing you know research but uh as i watched some of a lot of their content a lot of it seemed to be fueled by hate and some of them were downright racist. And uh, that is not what Jesus taught. Uh, Jesus said to love everybody. Um, oh, no man, but to love them. Um, love God and, and, and love your neighbor. That Those are the only commandments uh, that Jesus gave. And uh, all the hate-filled speeches, chasing people down. So that they can tell them that they're going to be slaves when Jesus comes back and all this hate speech and, you know, white men or the devil and all this crazy stuff they was talking. I was like, OK, um, I heard enough. Also, the way the the lanes they jump to to make their interpretation sound correct. It was laughable at times. Um, now. I will also say this, a lot of them, they really study the word of God. I mean, they know scripture 
a lot of a lot of the ones I've seen. I've only seen the videos that are posted on YouTube. They know that scripture. Problem is, it comes with a slant uh, because they know it to prove their points. So they know how to make everything line up to what they're trying to say. And that's not good. Um, I've commented on some videos and sometimes I get a response. And I mean, sometimes, I mean, th these things are pretty far. These, these are some radical thought processes. I mean, some stuff I never heard before in their responses to me because, you know, I read scripture too. I mean, I may not be on the level of quoting, you know, scripture word for word and tell you where it is and all that type of stuff. But I know where to find it and I know what I'm talking about. I'm not totally clueless. So um, I would say for the most part, you know, I don't align with the things that they teach for the most part. Uh, there are some things that, you know, we agree with. And I think, I think they all pretty much agree that, uh, Jesus died for our sins. It's just, they th seem to, I, I think that most, if not all believe that Jesus died so that he could be the sacrifice, he could cover the sacrificial laws and they still keep the other laws but not the sacrificial laws because Jesus was the sacrifice. All right. So, and I don't know what else goes along with that. I just know like that much of it. Uh, so Paul said, and, and, you know, they don't seem to be very high on Paul. They use a whole lot of Moses teachings. Um, they use a whole heavy old Testament and that's cool. Because the Old Testament and the New Testament were supposed to be mirrors of each other. God used the Old Testament to show his plan. Um, the problem, though, is once the plan, you know, Jesus fulfilled the Old Testament and we then come under the New Testament, the New Covenant. You got to you can't ignore the New Testament like you can't ignore the things that Paul said. And they seem to like kind of, I'm not going to say they toss Paul to the side, but let's say that there's something that doesn't exactly line up with uh, Paul and Moses. I can't think of anything off the top of my head, but let's just say hypothetically, they're going to go with what Moses said and try to prove whatever they believe is true based off that. And just kind of, you know, just, you know, forget what Paul said. Paul said all things are lawful unto him. All things are lawful to us. We're under grace now. And the question you want to ask in any type of situation regarding any type of thing that you want to do in moderation or you're trying to uh, partake in. The question you want to ask is, is this edifying God? That's what you want to ask yourself because Paul said all things are lawful. All right. There is no condemnation. Jesus died so that we could receive salvation. It's not by our works. It's by our faith and what Jesus did on the cross. Okay. So a lot of, they don't talk about that too much though. They, I mean, I would say at all because I've never heard it, but I know I haven't heard everything. There's a ton of different camps, not a lot of different uh, belief systems within that whole Hebrew Israelite thing. I mean, there's there's a lot of things that I agree with now that they say, but there's some things, you know, there's some things that I don't. So, you know, I just was weary when I saw that this guy, I saw that there was a video where he said that he was a Hebrew Israelite. I know there's some other guys. I just recently, I was watching uh Today, in fact, I was watching Bizzle. Uh, he went live and he was talking about, uh, well, somebody asked about Eshan Burgundy and because I guess he's a Hebrew Israelite also. And so Bizzle was talking about it a little bit. But um, so I guess there's a few people, you know, that, that, that follow that. And I, all I can say is, you know, 
just be careful with that. Just be wary. Uh, make sure you're following God's word. Religion is man-made. So, you know, don't get caught up in religions. It's about your relationship with God and making sure that you're covered by that blood of Jesus that he shed on the cross at the end of the day. That's what it's about. All right, but let's get back into the songs. I went deep. Um, I, I took it back a little bit because, you know, he was going hard. Um, start talking about, you know, Adam wanting to be a God and all of that. And, oh, he was going hard. So I, I took it back a little bit. Let's start it over. Let's go. I'm sorry. I got a little too hype. I just heard the verse. I just heard everything he said and I hear it again and it's still going so hard. It's still cuz cuz you you think you, you cuz you wanted to be God, me right? Cuz cuz he's not perfect, right? But he is. But he is perfect. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Tone spitting right here. He was spitting right here. All right, let's let's get back into this. One God, one faith. Jesus is the only door to him. One way, only true mile of perfection. No front ways. We all go call the Lord and bow our knees to him. One day. We should be worshiping Jesus, but we want to be our own. We should be following Christ, but we want to be our own. We should be serving the Lord, but we want to be our own masters. All that is is a recipe for now. Oh, now he he is not lying. He ain't lying. He is spitting those facts. He's spitting those facts. Jesus, the only person that we're supposed to be following. And man, have I been saying that a lot lately? Because if if you guys, I don't know how many people have been watching the videos that I made. Uh, man, responding to you know some content in the in the manosphere right now. And, you know, these relationship type videos and, you know, I, I say some things, you know, I'm, I'm, I make the, specifically the video I made, uh, on adultery and people want to bring up what all this old Testament stuff, what Abraham was doing, King Solomon, King David, what they was doing. Are you, who are you following? Jesus is the only way. Jesus is the way he's the only person you're supposed to be following did jesus do it live your life after jesus then come talk to me then come say oh this is what you know jesus did are you doing that is your word lining up with that with what jesus taught that's when you come talk to me don't talk to me about david and solomon and abraham because they was just men they sinned too they messed up too they didn't follow everything god said they, Cause they were just men. There's no. There's only been one perfect man to ever exist, and that was Jesus. So, so don't talk to me about that. About the, what these other people did, and are you following them? Jesus is the only way. Oh my! This man spitting facts right here. He's spitting those facts. But let's get back into this. Whoever suggested this, thank you. I know it's been months trying to get through your suggestions, and I apologize. But this one right here, this song right here was right on time. Right on time. Let's get back into it. Bunch of little Zeus's, cause they don't know who hates Zeus's. Yep. It's like earning a degree is only making people stupid. I'm not against education. Schools becoming Satan's pulpit. Where Christian views are foolish, therefore Jesus gets excluded. Where atheists just bully their religion evolution. Opposing by your classes and get social execution. It's ruthless. The desire is to be God and only amplifies and Immorality is 
rappers. Wow, we're so wise. Let me tell you something. That is so prevalent today. I mean, who would have thought that in modern day, because I would have never thought this growing up when I was a kid, that there will be a time in modern day where idolatry just seems to be so prevalent. People are literally calling themselves gods today. Literally. literally. I don't know if this is in every community, but when I, I see this in the black community like crazy, they refer to each other as gods. Like, what up, God? Like, that's a real thing. That's a real thing today. Who would have ever thought? Because you know, and you read the Bible, the Israelites always seem to turn to idol worship for some reason after they done seen everything God done did for them. Like literally, like stuff that you don't see today, like God using a, a pillar of fire to lead them through the wilderness or or parting the, the Red Sea so they can walk through it and then collapsing when Pharaoh tried to follow them. Like, like real raining manna from heaven. Real crazy miracles, supernatural miracles. They got to see with their own eyes. People like today, like people want to see stuff like that so that they can have that proof instead of just living by faith. Like they really got to see that. And still they would turn to idols. Like literally when Moses went to go get the commandments, he came, he got, he gets the commandments, comes back down and they already built a golden calf and said the calf delivered them. That really happened. And then we got today, like to think today, people are really literally calling each other's, they're calling each other God, referring to each other as gods. Are we serious right here? Are we serious? Who would have thought? Who would have thought? I would have never thought that growing up in my, it, like, I thought that was just some some crazy, you know, Bible stories when I was a kid. That, I because it didn't even seem realistic. I was even talking to my pastor of kind of fairly recently in Bible studies. Like, how can you see these things with your own eyes and then turn to an actual idol that you built and say that's your God when you just saw what the real God did. People today got no supernatural abilities, calling each other God. The thing is, it has no power. They don't they don't even believe God is real. You can't. You can't possibly possibly believe that God is real, but then refer to somebody who breathed the same air as you, who bleed the same way you do, and call them God. Or refer to each other as gods. It just has no power to you. It, you have no belief. They, they just have no belief. That's That's got to be. I mean, that's got to be it, right? I can't think of any. This song go hard. I, I just want to say that. Um, <laughs> this song is crazy. This man, this is a powerful song right here. Let's get back into it. The self-worship is crazy. Pride. Pride is going crazy out here today. What I tell you this? I told you, this song right here is right on time. Right on time. I'm posting these videos, you know, these relationship videos, because I'm hearing, you know, in the man's field, how this, in particular, this guy, Kevin Samuels, talking. This dude is full of pride. So, so very prideful. This song right here is right on time, man. The self worship. And in, in, in the modern day, and it's not just him. I'm, I'm. Please don't think I'm attacking him. It's that's not what this is about. Because every, I would say, you know, everybody wrestles with pride these days. Almost not, not literally everybody, but pride is so prevalent. Even in the women that he talks to, they got a lot of pride too, because they think that you know they can just show up, you know. Just being just the average woman, they can just show up and expect the very best man that exists in the world, and they feel like they deserve that. I mean, that's pride too. So don't mean, please don't think I'm attacking Kevin. I, the reason I just brought it up is because that's what I've been talking about lately. And now we got this song here hitting up. Mm, 
This song powerful right here. Let's get back into it. We're fools. We recklessly believe every lie that we try to use. So if they never read the scriptures, the Bibles, they got a few good. It's a church through the spirit. Christ is inside of you. Amen. There is one God, one faith. Jesus is the only door to him. One way, only true liar. I'm sorry, man. I love I love his rhyme schemes. I love these bars. I love everything about this song. You know what's going on the playlist. I can't wait. Oh my goodness. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you about that truth he, he, he just spoke just now. He said the truth is violent to a wicked heart. Violent. Let me tell you something, man. I spit some truth, just, just some scripture. I brought up some scripture when I was talking about adultery in that other video. People come out here attacking me. Are you worshiping? Because this is this channel right here, this channel is about God's word. All I use to, to uh, talk about my points was scripture. I wasn't using my own opinions. I use scripture. So you came to this platform that's about God's word to dispute what I was saying. When So you're disputing God's word? Because I didn't, I didn't in inject my own opinions in there. And if I did, I'm sure I stated that it was my own opinions. But I don't think I did that at all. So you come to this channel that's about God's word to dispute the truth that is God's word. Feeling so strong. Some of them attack me on a personal level. Calling names, trying to throw insults. Over God's word. Look at yourself. Look at your heart. Because I'm going to assume if you come to this channel and watch my content that you're a believer on some level whether you're just you know playing christian or whether you are truly a believer on some level you believe in god i assume when you come to this channel because why else would you watch my content i'm not some huge channel so it's not like i i wouldn't think that i have people coming to my channel to hate watch i'm not a huge channel right now you know, hopefully I get there one day, but, you know, I'm not right now. So why else would somebody come to this little channel to dispute what the word says about adultery? We're going to dispute if it's okay. We're going to dispute if, it, if a man can be accused of it. Really? Do Are you reading your word? Oh, man. Let's take it back a little bit. Cause, Cause, this man talking about facts right here. He's just talking about facts. That's all. the song's over i i'm pretty sure you're just gonna uh you know just repeat the hook right here but 
You know what? Let me just make sure he ain't about to go. He ain't about to talk at the end before I just, uh, you know, go back into just. Jesus is the only door to him. One way, only true mile of perfection. I'm from ways the are call the Lord and bow our knees to him. One day. We should be worshiping Jesus, but we want to be our own. Masters. We should be following Christ, but we want to be our own. Masters. We should be serving the Lord, but we want to be our own masters. All okay, that was the end. Oh my goodness, man. This man right here. Why have I never heard of this guy? Oh my goodness. Wow. 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 Yeah, so um I mean he 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 touched on everything there. He I mean he I wouldn't say everything, but you know, he was really getting at pride, uh idolatry. That song went hard. That's all I got to say. I, I, You know what? I think I talked enough. So I'm just going to be repeating myself if I really go into this anymore. But um, yeah, man. Listen to the song again on your own without my, all my interruptions. It's Tone Spain. Self-Deity, obviously. You're going to see it in the title. Wow. this This song was hard. This song was hard. Let me know how you felt about it in the comment section. Hit that like button. Subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Share this. People definitely need to hear this song, especially right now. People need to hear this. Get it out there. Get the word out. Powerful music over here. All right, guys. Be blessed.